I don't know if I would say that uh, Manny Cole is portrayed as a great writer, because even though inside of A New Eden, the Family, we got that book, it's always being written by Dan Schneider. And and so there's that constant play, because a number of characters, and even even in this spy book, I have characters say, I think I think Bit von Rheingold talks about a new, he never names the book a Norwegian in the family, but in in one of the scenes I think he talks about uh, uh, something. Well, one of the characters talks about uh, uh, being written up and someone investigating his life or whatnot. And Manny Cole is called a hack writer. He apparently uh, writes for us like an alt news weekly kind of thing for most of the book and until he's hired by in the you haven't read it probably 64 we find out why he writes the way he does uh, or why he's interested in, in these things um, and I could tell you why uh, but uh, I'll, I'll let you find out yourself but uh, so I, I'm not I'm not certain that we can say that Manny is a, a, a great writer he claims to be but is he really just taking on the Dan Schneider mantle uh, yeah, there's an allusion to the three boys who supplant Manny and his yeah. board uh, later on with the little boy with glasses and blonde hair. Yeah. It's definitely alluding to. Plus, the ending kind of pulls the rug out at the end where you don't know whether Manny Cole is really a conception of you or you or anything of that matter. But you get what I, I'm saying, though. It's taking you know the higher things in life and putting them there. Yeah. Francie Nolan, while well, she is probably going to end up being a good person she doesn't really have any kind of higher implications the, the, the frame of A Tree Grows in Brooklyn it has a grandiosity as well as getting into the depth of the, the lowness of some of their lives but it, it never really reaches to the higher where Manny Cole often consciously does and there's a great moment when Link is killed where he relays the information to Wub and it's kind of evokes that crime and cries and whispers scene in Igmar Bergman, you know, that wordless scene where they are, uh, are they're reconciling. Mm. Uh, and that's one of the only successful scenes in that film, but it evokes that, but it does more too. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I think, I think Manny is certainly an interesting and a great character. Um, but ultimately he's probably someone who is a fraud. Um, He's someone who is sort of me if, if I didn't have, he's not, he's a less ethical version of me uh, in, in the sense of how he, he's a poseur in a lot of ways too. We don't really, I don't think, know how much, if any, is he really a writer uh, of any consequence or whatnot? That's, that's the constant question. Um, within certain levels of the of the book. If we accept that Manny wrote a, the Norwegian in the family within a Norwegian in the family, then he's certainly a great writer. But all the time we know, even from Tumbleweeds, that I'm the one, or the, the written Dan Schneider is pulling his strings just as I'm pulling the strings of the written Dan Schneider. Um, I think you're still just sore at him for his insolence. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, well, it, that's an interesting point, uh, avoiding all jokes, because some of the other characters, they'll talk about what a brilliant mind man he is. But yeah, he does have implications towards Hackdom later in his life, even as he may have early in his life some inclinations towards uh, good artistry.